So here we have the Arger Ludlow multi-fuel stove, which means it'll burn both wood and coal. Now a quick overview of this, um, you've got three vents, you've got one at the bottom, that there means vent fully open, vent fully closed. This one is for coal, so we'll leave this closed when the uh, wood is burning. But basically to the right there, won't go any further, it's on a thread, fully closed. All the other way, fully open, but you never need to fully open it. And on wood, as I said just now, I usually keep it closed. And then we've got a vent at the top, fully open to the right, fully closed to the left. Now, when I'm starting a fire like this, to give you a quick idea of what's going on, I open the door slightly like that, that pulls a draft in through the door, and you'll find that I'll run oxygen over there, get it going for you. There we go, you just saw that ignite then. Now, if for example that was up to speed then, is what I would do for perfect settings, close the door, um, I would move this one here, one third to the left, and that'll be fine, you can leave that there. And then I find this one at the bottom, we pull right in, and just to show you, I go about flush with this piece of metal there, and then just go in a little bit. And I find when the stove is at maximum burning, that's brilliant. You find it's very economical on fuel, um, and it gives you a lovely burn, and generally speaking, the screen will stay fairly clear. Now, they'll tell you on this with the screen wash that it'll keep the screen clear. In reality, I don't think any stoves stay 100% clear, but I can't guarantee that. Um, with this one, it will get a bit dirty, um, but it's easy enough to clean. But generally speaking, if you get the right settings, it's nice and clear. Um, just to give you a quick look at the legs, each leg has a little adjustable thread to adjust the height slightly. Now, it's not to lift it off the floor, but it's to stabilise it. So if you've got, like me, slates there, which are slightly um, uneven, you can just pull the thread down, twist it round a bit, and that stabilises the, the wood burner so you can line it up level and stop it tilting back and forth. It has a five inch outlet, so you have a five inch flue here, which is a solid bit, but as stated in the manufacturer's um, guidelines or in the, the manual that comes with it, it does then, up under there, under my plate, it does then go back into a six inch flexible flue right the way up through my chimney. So please bear that in mind when you get this, that it is a six and a half kilowatt and does require um, a six inch flue from one meter above. Um, the other thing you need to bear in mind with this, because it's a six and a half kilowatt, um, and it's therefore over the five kilowatt threshold, you will need a vent in your wall installed as well to the outside to allow fresh air in to burn it. Um, what comes with it, you get this little tool here, which is cast iron. It's got that little hook, and it's what that allows you to do is basically you can hook in there, push that in and out. And then we've got this here, which if I just close the door a minute, this here is like a griddle, they call it. And basically you can pull that in and out and it will come out to there if I pull it hard. But basically there's a circle in the middle there and if you pull it, it twists it round like that and if you've got coal, it will basically allow oxygen to get up through it but it's quite handy just to drop your ash back through underneath. Mm -hmm. And then if you look, you can hook that under there as well. And here's your tray. Mine is full of ash at the moment. Apologies for that, it's a bit dirty but then I have been using it. And then you can pull that out and if you look inside, there's just a gap under there, which you can keep clean with a hoover. And you can just put that back in, slide it down, and out it comes. And as I said, that's where the grids are there on the griddle to allow the ash through. Um, generally speaking, excellent burning stove. I've had no problems with it whatsoever. I think it looks great. It's got a cast iron box all around the side, the top. And it's also got a cast iron front. It's got a heat resistant handle there. So these wires, watch this bit, that gets hot. But that there, you can hold on to that. It's got a little plastic end on there, so whenever you want to open that when it's uh, burning at full capacity, it's fine. It doesn't get too hot or anything. Um, and as I mentioned earlier with the settings, I have it a third that way. I take it right in when it's burning, and then I find this one. Don't do it up tight, just leave it just slightly to the left to allow when it gets hot and it expands a bit, it won't lock this tight then. Um, and I find that is the best setting once it's going. Okay, well I hope this uh, overview is helpful. I'll be uploading other videos to YouTube if you want to have a look. Um, one of them being the Vulcan stove fan, which you can see on top here. Um, and I'll review that in another video. So, as I like to say at the end of all my videos, ta-ta, farewell.